Welcome to Viking Tools for Revit. In this video, we'll look at our piping application tools. Specifically, we'll look at the arm over creation in the riser nipple tool. The arm over dialog has three options, one for sprigs and drops directly from a branch line, a straight arm over to a drop and, re and a return bin to a drop. Starting from the left, select the sprig drop option. We have a small set of piping examples to look at here in our, our sample drawing and there was several connection options. Select the upright heads to connect with the sprig and then select the branch line. Look at the 3D view and see that the selected upright sprinklers have been connected. In the next option, we'll select some pendant sprinklers. Return to the dialog and select the left box as before, and this time select the desired pendant sprinklers to connect. Review the piping in the 3D view and see that the print pin the sprinklers are now connected as expected. Let's look at one other example of connecting pendants. Notice that the sprinklers are offset from the branch line. With this tool, the branch line location is the dominant factor and the sprinklers will relocate to the branch line. To connect piping to the sprinkler head location, the pipe must be located directly above or below the sprinklers desired. That is the sprig drop option. Next, let's look at the straight arm over option. Notice the pipe sizing options for the drops. Select the last two heads on this branch line, pick the branch line, and view the results in 3D view. Next, let's select the return bend option. With the return bend option, you can set the riser nipple length or the arm over elevation. The result is the center to center length of the riser nipple. Let's set the riser nipple length to six inches. Notice that the dimensions are in decimal feet. Select the head, then select the branch line and look at the 3D result. Now we'll do the same procedure, but this time we'll select the D elevation, which is the elevation of the arm over. We'll set it to nine foot six. Select the sprinkler, then the branch line, and view the result in 3D. The result of these two options is the same, but the method was different. Let's move on to the riser nipple creation tool. Be sure and set the pipe size for the riser nipple. We'll select the desired branch lines to connect to the main piping. Select finish and then select the main piping. Review the results in the 3D view and you'll see that all the selected branch lines are connected.
Another common riser connection issue is with sloping pipe. In this example, we have a double slope. The branch lines are sloped in one way, and the cross main is also sloped, creating opposing slopes. This is a very difficult operation to perform in standard Revit piping connections just using the system and pipe tools. This routine makes this connection very simple. It calculates all of the necessary intersection points and angles and connects the pipe appropriately. Select the branch line and then, then the main, and then you can review the results in the 3D views. This has been just a quick overview of our new piping tools. Thanks for watching.